astrophotography, taking pictures of mystical things that are too far away to see. And yet, today's technology can bring them right to a man's living room. I'm visiting one such man's personal home to uncover exactly how he is able to snap such hot pics. Nick Lake, host of YouTube's Windy City Astrophotography and Skywatch Wednesday, is putting circles and tubes together. Allegedly, he'll be collecting images using an app on his daughter's old iPad. How? I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I'm Stacy Quasar, and this is News at the Speed of Light. People often compliment your voice. How much of it is really yours and how much of it is a computer? Um, well, it's all my voice. You can be honest with our viewers, our listeners. It is my voice. What are we going to look at tonight? Well, Miss Quasar, is there anything you'd, you'd like to see? <laughs> and, and me. I get to... I get to choose. If you have an idea of a nebula or... I sometimes wonder how I got to where I am now, three and a half months into an amazing career as a news anchor. I want to see where it all began. I think I have something that'll work. We'll, we'll go way back in time for a star-forming region where stars are born. And who's the stars, mummy and puppy? Uh, hydrogen and helium. Ooh la la, tantalizing. What are you poking? <laughs> I'm getting the telescope to look at some stars. You see a few stars on the screen here. The telescope is now going to move just a little bit. It's a pretty smart iPad. Just generic pink. You heard it here first, folks. Pink can be generic. Finding appropriate star. Ooh, what is an inappropriate star, Nick? Serious B. Nick, when you're out here by yourself, hmm. what is the most enlightening moment you've had? Occasionally I see some shooting stars. Dare I ask, what do you wish for? I wish for the clouds to stay away. Well, you just ruined that wish, Nick. You're not supposed to share. Looks like we have 10 seconds left on this image. They're very dim objects. These are things that we'd only see looking through this telescope. With our eyes from Chicago, you wouldn't see anything. I suppose if you had a robo-eye and it could build up an image over time, then yes. Is that what this is? Be honest. No, it is a, a red light, um, so it shines. I'm sorry. Okay, the image just loaded. It's pretty good. The North American Nebula. Stephen, quick, quick. Star formation in some of these areas, and there's bright stars that are essentially burning away the material around them. And what is making it North America? It's flipped in reverse on my telescope, but if you imagine this is Mexico, Whoa. and here's Florida, so it'd be flipped in the real sky. Whoa. No. No. Okay, wait, yes. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. No, I lost it. It's not. All right, so now we've moved indoors. Here we are looking at a bunch of images. This one looks a little spooky. It, it does. It's the Witch Head Nebula. <gasps> here we have Witch Eye. Yes, Witch Nose. Little puckered lips. And then here's the chin. Most of the images I take, they're interesting because there is dust and gas there. Dust and gas. Two things us humans abhor here on Earth. And yet, look at the beautiful imagery it makes. What do you hate more, gas or dust? Gas. The man hates toots. Stop giggling, Stephen. It's not your job. Now I can't help but notice you left your telescope outside. It's still collecting images. Without it's daddy? That's right. Yeah, I've got the security camera on, and it, it's, it's still taking images. I mean, these are coming in live from the telescope. How long are you going to sit here? If it stays clear, probably till 1.30 or 2 in the morning. And then I'll tear it down and go to sleep. The image won't be done then. I have to do another filter tomorrow night if it's clear. This is gas and dust at its finest, right here on a computer in a man's house. Sometimes when this image first comes together, there's a, a process that I run. I, I haven't seen the image quite like this until I run that process and it comes up for the first time. And, uh, yeah, it's really a, a wow moment. After you get something like this, do you go look in the mirror and you say, Nick, you did good today? I should try that. Let's try it right now. Hey, stargazers. That's a pretty cool picture that I took out there. Yes, keep and, uh, you done good. Do it in southern accent. You done good. Woo-wee! Do you ever do this in the mirror? No, it'd be embarrassing. Thank you for showing us things that human eyes can't see. 
and telling us about it with your voice that human voice can't be. Uh, but it is. I'm, I'm talking to you right now. Are you? I think we've gotten to the bottom of it. I think we all know the mysteries of the universe are still so, so far away, and yet so much closer. I'm Stacy Quasar, and this has been News at the Speed of Light. Uh, I'm Nick Lake from Windy City Astrophotography and Skywatch Wednesday. What's your sign-off? Clear skies. Is it really? That's it? (laughs) 